Why now? Is this truly a way to harm Putin? So why isn't this done earlier? Why wasn't the first thing the U.S. and Europe did? But joining me now is journalist Casey Michelle, author of the book American Kleptocracy, How the U.S. Created the World's Greatest Money Laundering Scheme in History. He's an expert on the ways that Russian oligarchs hide their wealth. Casey, thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate it. All right. So what am I missing here? Why now? Why weren't they the focus from day one? Boy, Dan, that's a great question. Obviously, it's great to be here with you today. This is something that should have happened, frankly, years ago. Should have happened uh, after the initial 2014 invasion of Crimea and eastern Ukraine. Should have happened at any point between now and then. It seems clear that the U.S. and the broader West thought that dangling these sanctions over Putin's daughters, the two that are at least his legitimate daughters that have been in the public eye to uh, <laughs> some, some kind of extent. Uh, uh, it, it was clear that they thought they might be able to use that as leverage to dissuade President Putin from whether it's invading uh, Ukraine itself or resorting to these horrific war crimes we've already seen. But clearly, that was misplaced. Clearly, the U.S. misjudged things, and it's only now years after the fact that these sanctions are actually coming. We have known for years that President Putin uses his family, uses his inner circle, uses his cronies, and presumably uses his daughters as well to hide, to guard, to protect all of his wealth, all of his ill-gotten gains that obviously they're enjoying as well. This was a yeah. long time coming. I'm certainly happy that it's happened better late than never. But boy, certainly talk about being a little bit late to the game on this one. Yeah, but let me ask, so I was reading in certain places that the impact on them will be very limited because they don't have much money in Europe and the United States. Is that true? Yeah, Dan, that's exactly right. This is similar to the sanctions we saw on President Putin himself just a month ago from the U.S., from the European Union, as well as other Western countries. We don't know of any significant assets tied to these figures, to the daughters or to President Putin himself. Again, we know that President Putin likes to keep his assets in others' names. And the theory behind these sanctions is that his daughters are presumably hiding some of their father's wealth somewhere. But because of all kinds of rampant financial secrecy tools that they and other Russian oligarchs have used for years and years, we still so, know so little of their actual financial yeah. networks, let alone what some of those monies, some of those assets are actually being used for. So this is a good step forward. It's a welcome step. It's an overdue step. We can't kid ourselves that this is any kind of silver bullet, any kind of panacea. We need far greater reforms, and we certainly need to be aware that these sanctions need to happen at a far, far more rapid pace than we've seen thus far. Yeah, because, and, and really quickly, I'm almost out of time here, but, you know, they can create shell companies, they can hide their money, et cetera, right? So it's very unlikely that they just have sort of a bank account in, you know, London, et cetera, with their name on it, right? Yeah, this, this has been the issue for years and years all across the West, especially in the United States. The free legal availability of anonymous shell companies, anonymous real estate purchases, anonymous private equity and hedge fund investments, trillions of dollars in anonymous wealth sloshing around, so little of which we know actually anything about in terms of its provenance or uh, links to oligarchs. There's still so much more reform that is needed if we're actually to clean up these oligarchic networks that are burrowing their finances into places like the United States of America. Casey Michelle, thank you so much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.